Scorpio, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. Here to do a reading to see how this person truly feels about you. This could be someone from your past, someone that you're dealing with, someone that um, you may have just met. Or it could be somebody you might meet, alright? These energies are past, present, and future, so take them as they resonate. It's a general read, okay? If it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it, okay? I post for you every week, so don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. I post for all your placements, okay? So let's see. What's the overall energy here for you and your person? What's the overall energies for Scorpio and this person? Person of interest. Mm, you got forgiveness. I just did Aquarius. They have financial. So if you got Aquarius in a prominent placement in your chart or you're dealing with Aquarius, shout out Aquarius. All right. But forgiveness. So this says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. All right. So let's see. Let's clarify with this deck. So we're going to pull three cards and see what this forgiveness is about. Three cards for Scorpio. Okay, we got the page of coins. Hangman, Major Arcana. So that's Neptune. are so weird to shuffle. One more. Scorpio. For a coin. Okay. So, underneath the deck, we got the Page of Wands. So, hmm, Page of Wands. This is a message. Alright, so this could be the communication between you and this person. You guys have a, um, there's chemistry between you, that's for sure. All right now this page of coins capricorn hangman major arcana neptune four of pentacles capricorn so i feel like what's going on with this person okay forgiveness this person could be coming in because the page of pentacles is upright this could be someone who's coming in with sincerity, someone who wants to um, express um, their sincere feelings towards you. Okay. We have the hangman energy here. This is Neptunian energy. Neptune is in Pisces. For you, Scorpio, Pisces is your fifth house because that's where Neptune is right now. The fifth house talks about, um, you know, your creativity, okay, uh, romance, your love making technique. Um, Pisces also deals with the house, it's the house of hidden enemies as well, okay. So, we need to keep that in mind, all right. So, this could very well, if this person has not come back to you, they could be coming back to you, uh, before Pisces season, all right. If this is about someone from the past, but we have the four of pentacles here, so this is you. I feel like being guarded. Um, not opening up, okay? Maybe this person wants to reach out to you and wants to apologize, um, but maybe you don't believe what they're saying, okay? It could very well be that um, you're not trying to hear it. So we know this is someone from the past because you've already had history. There's some forgiveness that um, is being called for. All right, so let's see what this is about here because you're kind of apprehensive about it. Let's see what we got for Scorpio here. Oops. I don't know why I shuffle that way. Alright, messages for Scorpio and their person of interest. What messages does Scorpio needs to hear about this person coming towards them, coming back towards them, wanting forgiveness? Okay, we got the four cups reverse. Okay, we 
got the lovers. We got the eight of cups. What else does Scorpio need to know? Seven of coin reverse. Six of coin reverse. King of coins. Underneath the deck. Queen of Wands. All right. Queen of Wands energy. This is um, I don't read man. I don't read man or woman too much. Um, this is energy, feminine energy. So this is your emotions, your feelings. All right. This could be about your emotions and feelings, how you feel about yourself, how you feel about this person, or how this person feels about you. But somebody loves. Somebody feels like you're smoking hot, or you feel like this person is smoking hot. This person is attracted to, or you them. Um, I feel like you've stood your ground towards this person or they've stood their ground towards you. Um, and someone who knows what they want, they're not afraid to speak up and say what it is that they want and what they don't want is what I'm feeling here. Four cups reverses Scorpio. I'm sorry, that's cancer. <laughs> cancer energy. It looks as though, um, the grieving process is over. Okay. Um. Someone being unhappy and unfulfilled. They want to change that. Somebody may want to change that. I feel like for both of you, because this is the energy of where you two left off. Um, so this is just like, okay, well, let's just drop it. Let's just let it go. Let's just move on. That could have been the case. It's like, okay, you're unhappy. I'm unhappy. Let's move on. How this person feels about you deep down, though. The lover's energy. Okay. So this person has a connection with you that's very intense and very deep, okay? And if it's not that, it's just that they have to make a choice between you and someone else. The lovers always indicates, well, most times it indicates a choice between you and someone else if it's not about business. So they are looking at, okay, so this is how they feel about you. Maybe they feel they're waiting for you to forgive them. They want you to forgive them. They want to come back with the four cups in reverse energy and possibly apologize because they realize that they didn't treat you the way that they should have, Scorpio. So how they feel about you deep down is the eight of cups. Now, the overall feeling they had about you was a choice, okay? So maybe how they feel about you deep down is they're going to walk away. This could be somebody you're dealing with right now, okay? This could have been someone you may have reached out to and tried to rekindle things with. But deep down inside, how they feel about you, maybe they feel like you're going to walk away from them, is what I'm feeling with that Eight of Cups energy. The mutual energy between you two is the Seven of Coin in reverse. I feel like neither one of you are interested in putting any effort or work into the situation. Neither one of you have recently. You could be feeling with the Seven of Cups in reverse. This person wants something for nothing. And as a result, you're not going to put any work in or time or effort. You could also be looking at the time, energy, and effort you put in and how, you know, you wasted your time with this person. They could be feeling that they wasted your time as well. But um, I feel like with the seven of coin in reverse here, this is you feeling like this person, they just want something for nothing. The energies that would keep you two from working things out is the six of coin in reverse. And that's because this person is not being honest with you. They're not being upfront. There was no equal give and take in this situation. That's what happened in the past. There was no equal give and take. Six to eight weeks from now, if you tried to work things out, what would happen? You have the king of coin in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't want a commitment. I feel like they just want to come back because they are horny. Okay, and you light the fire for them, as you do for your lovers, Scorpio. You already know your how you are. They can't they can't stop coming around. They're always stalking. Here's the page of swords. So we got the Queen of Wands energy and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, see this person. You know they um they messed up and they know they did. Okay, you've been through this with this person before with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You guys have a very strong attraction towards one another, okay? But this person is stalking you, okay, with the Page of Swords energy. Now they could be watching you online, or they could be trying to communicate with you via uh, text, email, trying to call you, um, you know, trying to reach out to you, okay? I feel like if they're not doing it, they're thinking about it. 
for sure. All right, because they want re they want you guys to reunite. So you guys are not speaking right now. Okay, and with the Page of Cups reverse here, though, this is somebody who they don't have anything to offer. It's just sex. That's it with the Page of Cups reverse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the extended and we're gonna clarify these and break this down a little bit and just see what's up with this person. I don't know if they're bitter. I don't know if they're frustrated. Like, I don't know what they want forgiveness for when they're not going to act right. Maybe that forgiveness was just the energy that they're going to come in under. But, um, it's just weird that they would want forgiveness just to have sex and that's it. So that could be just what this is. All right, but we'll find out in the extended. We'll clarify each of these cards and get a little bit more um, advice through the oracles as well. So Scorpio, that's been your reading. Let me know if this resonated in the comments. And if it did and you don't want to comment, make sure you click the like button. Do both if you can. All right. Please keep the comments to the to the point of if the re reading resonated and how. Okay. Um, I can't answer everybody's questions because there's too many of you guys who, who uh, comment. But I do appreciate the comments. Um, but, uh. If this doesn't resonate, don't worry. You have other placements. I post for every placement every week. So make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll be able to see the other placements as soon as I post them. So Scorpio, that's what I got for you for this reading. I'll see you in the extended. If not, I'll see you in the next reading.